Becoming a new father definitely changes a man. You go from thinking about yourself to instantly thinking about how you can best protect the ones you love. As a new dad, I remember the day when my mind switched and focused hard on family financial independence. It was a fine summer day in 2011. I was zipping around on my new moped, headed to the local pharmacy, and I had an incredibly important purchase I was about to make. After breezing through the sliding doors, I headed straight back to the pharmacy area. I was grinning ear to ear. Given my excited state, the pharmacist probably thought I was like a virgin looking to score my first Trojans. Nope. I was after something much more important. After securing the cargo, I headed back home to meet with my wife, Nicole. We decided that the three-pack of the pregnancy tests was the best way to go. She'd take two tests, and then I'd take one of them. <laughs> That way, we'd be triply positive that these little white sticks weren't defective. You know, you gotta check. Much to our extreme delight, my test was negative. Whew. And both of Nicole's tests were positive. <laughs> Those incredible pink plus signs had us jumping around our tiny bungalow like two kids on a sugar high. We were high. We were gonna be parents. Learning this monumental news made this specific day one of the best of our lives thus far. That day was also a major turning point for our young family. It propelled our lives in a whole new direction. Hey everyone, this is Andy Hill from Marriage, Kids & Money, a channel dedicated to helping you strengthen your family tree and live financially free. If you like what you hear today and you are a new listener, please consider giving me the YouTube triple thanks. That's hitting the like button, subscribe to the channel, and then commenting something down below. Maybe the day you learned you were gonna be a parent. <laughs> thanks. All right, when the euphoria of becoming a father for the first time started to subside, a brand new thought process began to creep its way into my life. I quite rapidly started to think about the future and how I could best protect my growing family. Evidently, this brain change for new fathers, it's quite common, according to Scientific American. In an article entitled, How a New Father's Brain Changes, they describe how a new dad's thought process is quite different from that of the new mothers. Instead of thinking about cuddling or feeding the baby, dads to be focused on the future. They imagine saving money for the college fund or walking down the aisle at their daughter's wedding. This article described my new thought process as a dad-to-be to a T. My little Zoe was coming into our lives in seven short months and I needed to get ready. Up until this point, I had been focusing a lot on my own personal joy and that of my new wife. Now it was time to think about our child and our child's future. It was time to say goodbye debt and hello future. Around this time, my interest in personal finance and family financial independence started to really grow. I read a lot of books to plan for our new family's future. When I saw my little girl in the ultrasound, my passion for learning and my desire to win for my family accelerated immensely. We were in the midst of paying off around $50,000 worth of debt that had been accumulated from past student loans and a car loan. Nicole and I decided to focus our efforts more intently over the remainder of the year and rid ourselves of our consumer debt completely. A key element to our debt freedom plan was the monthly ritual called the money date, or as we like to call it, the budget party. Yes, it does sound like two words that don't go together, you know, kind of like oil and water, but hey, whatever works to get it done. We'd meet and we still do meet on the first of each month and we review three things. The spending plan for our family, the dreams for our family's future, and the actions we need to take to reach those goals. These monthly meetings, they allowed us both to have a voice in our family's future and craft solid plans to win for our finances. Our diligence and partnership definitely paid off. By the year's end, we were debt free. We lived on half of our combined incomes and we clobbered that debt. 
Evidently, bringing a human into the world really kickstarts your financial maturity. After this debt-free win, my newfound passion for improving our family's finances started to become a habit. Once we achieved one goal, we were primed and ready for the next one. Over the next decade, we began dreaming of even bigger goals that could truly strengthen our family tree. Here is a list of what we've been able to do as a couple over the past decade plus in our marriage. 2013, we purchased our dream home for $350,000 with 40% down and set the goal of paying off our mortgage in less than five years. 2014, our ability to save and consistently plan our monthly cash flow allowed for my wife to leave her job and become a stay-at-home mom when our son Calvin was born. 2015, our retirement investments grew to over $100,000 for the first time. This came from investing in our workplace 401ks and from Roth IRAs. My wife was even able to do a spousal IRA as a stay-at-home mom, and we maxed that baby out each year. 2016, I started a blog, a podcast, and a YouTube channel to hold myself accountable to our goals and chronicle our journey to family financial independence. I met some incredible people along the way. I interviewed best-selling authors, award-winning journalists, and financial experts that kept me motivated and excited to keep moving forward. 2017, we completely paid off that mortgage on our family home one year ahead of schedule. This freed up even more money to pursue our family goals. 2018, we increased our charitable giving from 1% to 3% of our after-tax income. 2019, that charitable giving made its way to 5% and then another 5% for family, friends, and neighbors in need. This became our own version of 10% giving. 2020, just before the pandemic rolled in, I quit my job and started life as a full-time family finance coach. 2021, we hit a millionaire net worth as a couple just 10 years after eliminating that original debt. 2022, my wife also transitioned out of her corporate life and went back to school to become an esthetician. And 2023, now both of us work part-time so we can spend more time with our two kids and with each other. When we started our journey, we had a negative $50,000 net worth. Today, our net worth is well over a million dollars. More importantly, we own a lot more of our time. In the end, the drive, the focus, and the intentionality that we've brought into our daily habits have been all centered on how we can secure the best future for our family. Investing for my daughter and son's college tuition with a 529 college savings account, setting up our estate plan, and leaving a legacy of financial knowledge are all things we focused on over the past few years. Before having my little girl, I didn't think much further than what we had planned for the following weekend. Now I am planning for the rest of my life and working on planning for theirs as well. I owe it to Zoe for changing my perspective and leading us onto the path toward family financial independence. If you're looking for someone to help you on your path to family financial independence, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching services. You can scan this QR code here to learn more or go to this website here and you can also find it in our video description. This is Andy Hill from Marriage, Kids, and Money signing off. Carpe diem.